Don't you think I'd leave you? Forget it. Let's talk about the teeth. See these two up here? Okay. Those two up there and these four front ones are the only ones that Welfare will pay for to keep it white in the front. Okay. It's also two teeth up here and to take the same space it's four teeth down here. It just goes on the outside of your top teeth. So now we're going to start. We have these two here. Okay. Then we have a row of six and six. We have 14. 14 letter in the alphabet at the end. It's neutralized. It works with the Z. 26 and 14. When they come together, it makes the 40. It makes one half of heaven. 40. 40 is 80. makes both parts of heaven of the nine legs of the cat. But when it's inside the cube and nothing is starting, the rule is number 10. The exclamation of all the nines. And I have something in the back for some reason is working. So um, where did you go? So there I am. Now on the bottom, you got four. You got two on the top, four on the bottom that are the front teeth. Two, four. Two and four is six. Beta, angle of man. Two and four is six. Four that goes with beta. Two that actually are simple doubt for man. I can explain to you how it works. Okay. Top, you got six and six. You have six, two, six. And the bottom, you have four. So when you have four here, you can only have five here and five here. So every time you chomp down, this five touches this six, which would make eleven. This five would touch this six, and that would make eleven. You'd have eleven, eleven. My God. But what happens when the two front ones touch? Do you go two and four is six, man? Do you go two times four is eight to heaven? Eight and six is fourteen. We neutralize again. One and four is five. Now we connect everything together because with the five ring, or the ear ring, or the nose ring, or the bull ring, or the red bull, or whatever you want to talk about, it all connects. It's the ring. It's the five ring. It's the five ball. What does man play when it's the five ball and he connects with the five ring? Well, he's the thirteen ball because they're both orange. One and three and four, you have the four angles. It's the angel. See, the thirteen ball will become the angel on your side. But now the fifteen ball, because one and five six, and I have angel and man on one side. So I'm really not up to date exactly because I know that the solids always play again, so that has to be the heaven and um, the, the, um, the home team, which is man, he only gets to play when he's home. <laughs> Otherwise, he can't play because he's dead. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. In this world, I'm talking. I don't know which world you're going to. Okay, so now, you have 28 teeth. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 and 8 is 10. 26. The letter Z, which goes back to the 14 again. 26 and 14 is 40. 40 again. Everything always seems to work out. What do you want to do? Do you want to use the 12 up top? With one side, we stand on 17. We take the other side, we've got 22. 22nd letter is the beat to light. It's the support system for the balance or the lead bell, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay. Everything always matches. Next, what we're going to go into, something I thought was a little weird. On Rosh Hashanah, on Wednesday and on Friday, it's never in the book. It shows, you know, it shows the first day, but there is no Wednesday and Friday. I looked over 70 years, 70 years, a whole life, 10 times the seven. 70 years, I didn't find one Friday. Six, six day of the week, Shabbos, six of the week, already. Man starts to honor his day, and on his day, he honors God. There is no day. It doesn't exist. Saturday and Sunday is day one and day one. But, in one world, Sunday okay, is day one. Okay, but in, how can I explain this now? Um, you see, the day you pray, Okay, that's the one of God's day. That's not a seventh day. That's one day of God. You can call it 6B or whatever, or 6A. 
minus 6b because it doesn't count. Saturday and Sunday don't count. That counts for the two beta. The five beta the week, and the ring. It's the ring again. Back to the ring. Two and five, five and two, two and two is life. Five and five is freedom. I came up with a couple of things. I bring in my calendar that I wrote all over. I was in a parking lot for a little bit, and I had to draw. First of all, okay, um, to get back with the uh, Yom Kippur now, because on Yom Kippur, there's no Tuesdays and there's no Fridays. Choose for the chosen one. Fried eggs. Fried eggs and ham. Ham radio, CB radios. You ever look at the queen? It's a ham radio, man. They can't eat the ham radios. Don't eat the pig. Otherwise, they won't have communication. Something about the purity of the pig that changes its meat whiter than any other animal. Um, okay, so let's get back to Russia Shut to Yom Kippur. And Yom Kippur doesn't have Tuesday, which is the third day from the Sunday, which is actually the seventh, second day, but in this world we count it as the third day. And it's just that's the way it is. I'm just doing it. I have to do it your see, I don't do this my way. I do everything your way. Okay. And I envision it differently. Coming up with an answer. That's my way. Your way, my way. In between is the highway. We get on the highway, we get closer and closer, we move apart, and we see the differences. We match. Aren't we looking to connect to something? Reality? Why are you watching me? Don't we want to learn something altogether? I'm not really trying to teach anybody. I'm just trying to teach them the way I do what I do. I'm not telling anybody how to. If you want to know how to my way, I can tell you my way. And if I take into the effect of what kind of person you are, I have to round it out and to make it my way so it fits for your way. And you have to bend a little bit too. Bend and bend, and if you don't bend over, where are the egg going to come out? The chicken ain't got no knee. She just bends right over. Ever see a chicken lean back? I mean, it's already a slope back, you know? I mean, slope back chicken already looks like the bull and the moose. Look at those red bulls. Their backs are sloped. Look at the moose. He's got a big hump here, and that's slow. But to get back to the 25 again, look in the middle of the antlers of the reindeer on the Canadian coin. Take a look at the American nipple compared to the Canadian nipple. They both have feet. Okay, stop looking at the design. Look at the outline. It's got a straight line across, and then a little deeper. Now, if you look at the Da Vinci uh, Last Supper of Jesus, in the center window, okay, it has the same line as the two Freedom, 55, 55, five, five, in through the five ring and out through the five ring. Jesus was free before he even died. I looked at that picture. Underneath the table, it's crazy. Two, two, two legs and shadows, three legs. You couldn't see how the table was actually standing up in one of the pictures. Because everything seemed to be two and three. You see three shadows, but you only see two legs. Then you see three shadows, and you only see one leg. And I looked in between and back and forth, and I juggled the around. Anyways, we're not into that. Okay? What I'm into, you get a divot, you go, you play golf, D-I-V-O-T. Okay? Did you vote? Divot, 64 letters. But now I'm going to get back to the calendar again, because I like having fun. September, October, November, December, January, and February. Every single one of those uh, months have about a seven to eight uh, letters in each of the months. Every single one of those months has a 25 combination between the letters or one letter alone. Just to count for okay, that... Um, uh, January ends in a Y, so right away that's 25. September, Bear, Raphael, Ben, Ben, Bear, all the same thing. Birth equals the 0.25 man. October, November, Bear, December, Bear. All the bears are sleeping in the wintertime. I guess that's why we've got all these bears out at this time. But in January, 
there's still a winner, but the bear is not there because it ends in the Y. February ends in a Y. Okay, so what I do is like this. I take six months. September, October, November, December, Sunday. That's what it's like. Then it's January, February. J F six nine of the Jack of who he is because he's four and six and that's the seventh letter which is the J because he's actually the Joker. Man is the Joker, but in the beginning he plays the role of the Jack, and his hair is curled up in one fashion that it looks like a six. Man, but the Jack of Hearts and the King of Diamonds, they got the same setup. There's something going on between those two. Watch out! Next time you take out your deck of cards. You make sure the King of Hearts, he's not have a, he doesn't have a sword in his head. Because that ain't a sword. Now I'm going to get back to um, March, April, May, June, July, which is AA, JJ, and M. Jan, Jan. Two A's, two J's, two M's. I'm not going to get to any story there. I didn't write anything down. The other thing I think I remember is that uh, October 11th, I think is the, is the, is the uh, farthest Yom Kippur we ever had. Now, this is only a guess. Okay, I looked over 70 years, and I could have made a mistake. But before I forget to make the video, I put it on the video. And one day, somebody would come back with an answer and say, Hey, you had the right number. You had the wrong number. No, I think 6,000 years ago it wasn't like that. Whoa! You want to go back 6,000 years? Well, come back with me. We'll go back 6,000 years. i got a calendar for one year. How am I going to do it? Well, we're going to ask the question. When did it start? Okay. The question I'm going out is Rosh Hashanah. September or October? What I saw today is it's in, the, in, the, in this book. It says September seven times in a row and then October. And over for 70 years, it did the same thing. And then uh, Yom Kippur is something else. So if I can match the last 70 years of Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, I can probably give you the day of Rosh Hashanah, I don't know, 4,000 years ago. I can probably tell you where they are right now, what time it is, and if it's dark, or it's not that dark. It's not, it's not much psychology in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it already shows me September. You go seven years September, one year October. Seven years September, Rosh Hashanah, one year October. And one of them goes um, two, five, one. I, I wasn't finished with that. Let me see that. I'm not up to date with that. I want to get to the divot, which has a 64 letter count. I want to get to um, the shark. He's got three rows of teeth. Okay, now think of this. If he has three rows of teeth of 28 like that, okay, top and bottom, I mean the totality, 28, 28, 28. Okay. Man has 28. His mother is 28, and you know what? His mother and father are actually the same. And he has 28. 28 and 28, 56. 5 and 6 is the angel, spirit and man. 5 by 6 is 30, plus the 11 is 41, Mediterranean. Um, now we add on the last one. It equals to 84. 56, 66, 70, 16, 20. 84 are the three worlds. One world which has eight angles on it, the other world which has only four angles on it. Each world is four. I'm not counting the in between with the Rubik's Cube and everything, it's just a general. Okay. And, um, wow, I lost my spot. Uh, 48, 84, uh, oh yeah, 84, 84 is seven years. Seven years of alpha beta. Why? Because seven times 12 months or seven times 12 is 84. Four by eight is 42. Four and eight is 12. Make the total of 44. 44 is space. Four angles and four angles. Space. Four by four is 16. One and six is the one spirit of man. The one spirit. Man's spirit of man is letter P and all together it's your P I N personal interception code of uh, neutralization. Actually the pin you have at the bank is actually the same thing. Everything was duplicated down here. Don't you see it in the reflection in the lights? Don't you see it in the mirror? Have a nice night and thank you for watching me. Good luck.